It's my new addition from Vivor. They sent me this. They asked me the, uh, if there's anything else that I would like to try after I'd done the one on the jack. And uh, I started looking through a lot of stuff. Now, they got a lot of good gear that I wouldn't mind having and stuff like that. But I, I wanted something a little bit different, something I didn't know much about. And I was looking, they had... Uh, uh, like winches that are mounted up high and stuff like that but i come across this which is basically an electric come along okay and one of the big reasons why i want this here is because up in my attic up here i want to be able to lift things up and down and that was one of the main things i've seen and i looked at this here that i can hook it on uh, a chain up there and just let it hang and then i can work it from up there and i can lift things up and down i haven't got to be worried about carrying things up the ladder all the time so that was one of the big things and it's, it's set up that i can probably like uh, hook it onto the bench here and uh, tow a car in here or whatnot along the floor there's a number of reasons why you can use it i'm going to use it now later on to i got a, a whole bunch of parts belong to the toyota i want to put upstairs get them out of the way so i'm going to put this to use for that but what's pretty cool about it is um it's pretty straightforward and simple just got the you just plug it in all right got an on switch Lights up green, okay, that's an overload. Right here, there's an overload button. You press on that, lights up red, okay? And that's an overload, so when that gets in too far under that, the cable is here. It's got a switch right here for going up, going down. And it also got a remote for going up and going down. Looks perfect. So there's not much really to it. Uh, it's a neat little device. Uh, I'm going to put it to good use, so I'm going to turn around now and uh, set it all up in the attic and I can put away some parts and take some stuff down I want to. I've always had issues with getting things up and down on the attic and I've always wanted a winch set up, but I didn't want to have nothing up there mounted permanently and I like this set up here. I have a lot of other uses that I can probably use this for and uh, for around here and I think it's going to be a good addition to the, to the shop. Not much in the way of instructions, a lot of safety stuff. Um, it's pretty well straightforward when you look at it and you read it and, un and understand it. It works out best kind. So I'm going to hook that up there now in a little while and try it out. I got a steel beam running across my trusses up here with a chain on it and I got the hoist just hooked down to it and that way I can haul stuff up and downstairs I don't take nothing too heavy it's mostly wheels tires that type of stuff it's a few small engine parts the biggest problem with this is bulkiness so that's one of the one of the good things about this here is that I haven't got to worry about carrying tires up the ladder anymore As you can see, it's a great addition to the shop. I brought up all this stuff is in here. Tires, wheels, bins, the welder, rims over here, a bunch of parts I got over here. I brought them all up with the winch. Saves me a lot on uh, my back, I can guarantee you that. It's very hard to bring stuff up and down these ladders and then trying to bring it up with ropes and whatnot. This is a great addition. So... I'm very pleased with it. Uh, the battery went dead in the remote, so this do have a 
its own switch on it. You can actually work it from here up and down on the switch, and that's what I was using. So no big deal. I expected that battery wasn't going to last long anyway, because usually every time you get them when it comes with a battery, it's usually a cheap battery anyway. So I'll just buy a new battery and I'll put it on it, and that'll be the best kind. There you have it. I got all the tires moved up here. I got the seat brought up here. It's a great little addition to the garage. I just got it hooked up here. And, you know, just plug it on into the wall. Run it off an extension cord. Everything's fine as kind. All I had to do was replace the remote. The battery in the remote, which is probably a given anyway. Because they only come with probably like a cheap little battery. But that is a godsend. I have a lot of ideas for this. I could have had... Like, I was going to look into getting a winch-style one that'll fit up here and it'll be permanently mounted. What I like about this one here is the hook, where you can move it around. You can take it out of here, and it's got the little handle on it. You can carry it, and you can actually work, work the, the mechanism from here. And I got the safety feature on it with the uh, that shuts off when it uh, comes on. You can see the red light is on there now. And the red light goes off. So it's not going to pull too far on you. It'll shut itself off. So when you pull up on it, it automatically shuts itself off. But it's a great little addition. It uh, has a lot of potential to help me around here. I'm not getting any younger. And having this attic, I have a lot of storage space up here. It's a lot of room up here to put stuff. And the problem I always had was getting stuff up through that hatch. And now that shouldn't be a problem. So anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. I hope the tips are good. And until next time. Check out the link in the description below for 5% off all products from Vivor.